Hey, hey, you automation enthusiasts. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, so excited to have all of you guys here today. We are continuing along with our lessons on how to get started with UFT, where we are attempting to teach you everything necessary to get you started from A to Z with UFT and design your first script. So far, we have covered all of these topics from how to work in an agile environment as an automation engineer. We've covered what unified functional testing is. We talked about automated testing and we've talked about advantages, disadvantages and good and bad candidates for automation. All of these topics that we talked about are excellent interview level questions that will not only help you guys get a better position or get a new position or just improve your knowledge as automation engineers. And now we're going to take the next step because we've laid the important groundwork for you guys with the knowledge of what to do with automated testing and when to do it. And now we can step into the actual use of UFT. We'll navigate around it, figure out what it is, how to use it and what to do with it. Cool. So let's get started. So here is HP UFT. You guys can see this new icon. I'm going to double click it and it's going to open up. For those of you that are new and joining us, we are QTP tutorial. And our goal here is to teach you everything related to automated testing. So if you're wondering where to download this and how to install it, I actually have videos on those for you. So make sure you go to qtptutorial.net, go into the basics section, and you guys will find the videos on how to download and install UFT step by step the entire process. So anyways, this is what comes up. I have a trial license and I have UFT version 12, and that's what it looks like. The next Next thing that comes up because I have this box checked down here is called a UFT add in manager. In this window, you get to pick what add ins you want to use for your application. Now, you may have a SQL application, you may need some Oracle plugins, you may need Stingray plugins. There are many plugins that UFT has. I don't know which ones you're going to need. That depends on your application. And check this out here, guys, for optimal performance and object identification reliability. Select only the add-ins you need. Very important. This is another interview level question. And actually, it is a question that is on the QTP certification. So by the way, we do have interview questions with answers and QTP certification questions on our website. So for those of you interested in getting your QTP certification and stating to the world how you guys are so legitimate, you can go there and check out those questions questions in the resources section. They are free to look at and enjoy. So anyways, for our demonstrations, I only need the web add-in and these add-ins are installed initially with UFT or they can be added later. I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to push OK and UFT is going to take a second and then it's going to open up.